Good evening, everyone. It's good morning. It's Pastor Tim from First Assembly in Berlin, Kansas. You can tell I just came off camp this week. I can't think straight. This past week, we've been talking about weird people. We've been talking about weird, you know, normal weird desires. We've been talking about Esau and Jacob. Well, I'm getting, as we conclude today, it's probably going to be a little shorter today, but I'm going to conclude with, with, with these, these statements. Galatians 5, 16 and 17 says this, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants you to do evil, which is just the opposite of what uh, the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. Galatians 5, 16 and 17. Leave the, the, the place where everyone's going, the broad road, the wide road. Leave that and go to the narrow road, follow Jesus. I want you to begin to think of, a lot of times you hear, I pray, you know, the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's, let's look at this for a minute. Remember, Esau and Jacob. Esau had the birthright and sold it for, to Jacob for a bowl of soup. Let me read this to you. We serve God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, the, the, the ultimate for the immediate. That's what happened. Esau tra traded the ultimate for the immediate. Although scriptures, who was Jacob, the younger brother? Who should have it, it been? Who would it have been? Who could it have been if he hadn't been so short-sighted that he traded his birthright for a bowl of stew? If he had done what was right, we would have said today, this day, we serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. But because of the unchecked desires, Esau traded the ultimate for a stupid bowl of soup. And when you begin to think about that, we would have been praying to the, to the Abraham, Isaac, and Esau if Esau didn't sell his birthright. So can I, let me just give you these two statements. Destiny is changed because of, our, of a craving that isn't harnessed. Don't sacrifice your destiny for distorted desires. Don't go for the immediate. Go for the ultimate. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for this morning. I pray that you bless every single person, Lord God. Bring them back tonight for our movie as we, we show uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Dawn Treader. Lord, bless those, and most of all, give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you on Sunday. If you don't have a church, come see us. Ninth and Yuba in Burlington, Kansas. We'll be finishing this series called Weird, and part four will be on Sunday morning. God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.